What's going on, folks? Welcome back to the channel. Monday morning, quarter to five, looking at the markets, looking at charts, looking at WFII slash USD. So looking at this straight from a straight from the technicals, um, not looking into the project. Um, and I'm going to share a couple of my thoughts here about what I see on the chart. Obviously, this thing has made a big move to say the least. So what is going on here? Kind of maybe what to look forward to moving forward. Will there be an opportunity to get back in at lower prices? That is the question at hand here. So let's kind of take a step back and see if we could have captured this big move before it took place. Um, so we'll go from here, since that is the higher low, to the target on my screen. So 330% move. So what's going on here? Well, if we take a step back, perhaps about two weeks ago, this project obviously has getting hit, gotten hit pretty hard, or did get hit, I should say, pretty hard, along with the rest of the market. Um, basically following along with Bitcoin and the stock market and most of the other cryptos kind of have a kind of have similar looking charts here. So what does that mean? Um, well, it's normal to see that this project has similar charts to like Bitcoin. And so basically the thing that would have stood out to me if I was looking at this, which I wasn't, I'm not even familiar with this project at all. I'm just looking at it from a TA standpoint and sharing a video here for a viewer. So we put in a low on the 13th of June. A lot of markets did that same thing. Juneteenth, which was that Monday, uh, you know, the stock market was closed, but crypto keeps on trading. So that wasn't that was a trading day. And then that next day, which was the 15th of June, Tuesday, I believe, had a big, big breakout to the upside and then we had a slight pullback come in so what would be a area of importance that I would have been looking for if I was looking to get into this at um, you know trying to do more of some bottom buying we have low number one on the 13th and then what came in is this higher low right here on the 18th of June. And you can see what happens. And we've talked about this in the past. We've talked about it with Tesla. I remember Tesla being one of these um, going back. Maybe it was a few months ago, if not longer. When the markets have a sharp sell-off, you'll sometimes you'll get a rally, which we saw here. Got a big, strong rally the 15th of June. Sharp pullback, that sharp pullback did that higher low. That higher low is powerful. It does two things. One, it gets everybody back on the bearish side of the market. And they're wrong because we don't make a new low. We make a higher low. And that move to follow, which this is a good example actually, can be extremely strong. And it was. So bottom tick on that uh, 18th of June was 380 basically went from $380 within a couple days, maybe it's a week, all the way up to a high of $2,300. So very, very powerful move. So could you have captured this? That is the question. Well, if you were looking for that higher low that came in on the 18th of June, that just happens to be where this one fell. It could have been a couple days later, could have been couple days earlier what I would be looking for is that next break that next higher high so we'll start off with a higher low and then we'll head into a higher high so we got that higher high on the 15th of June so you could have bought that breakout there and looks like that would have been right around 650 bucks give or take so from that 650 bucks up to where we're at today, we'll call it right around there. A little 
bit lower, 650. So that would be an 85% move up to my target up here, 156% move from that entry. And you would say, well, if you could have bought down in the threes, why would you buy up at the sixes? Because you're waiting for that confirmation. You want to make sure this is actually the higher low. So this this high on the 15th of, um, of June is a higher high. We took out the highs over in here. It looks like we had a high on the 30th. But then we still put in a lower low. Next move, higher high, higher low. And then that next break is that real powerful move to the upside. So that's one of many ways you could play it. Could have played it. You could have tried to buy this higher low down here with a with a tight stop, and obviously that would have worked out looking back. But you got to have some kind of a strategy, a tested strategy that um, works. And sometimes trying to bottom fish that's tough. You have to figure out a way to protect your capital. So buying breakouts, buying higher highs, um, is a pretty proven strategy. Once you figure out your um, stop parameters, so that's um, that's kind of how I would have looked at this. I, you know, the market sells off, we get a rally, we pull back, we print a higher low. That is a big sign of heads up. We could be heading much higher, and obviously we did. You could also use multiple entries. Perhaps you enter a quarter of your position at what you think during the time is the higher low. Um, which on this case would have been the 18th of June. And then you can enter perhaps the another quarter of your position at the break of the next higher high, right around that 650. Or, you know, maybe you can enter, <coughs> you know, more than just a quarter of the position. Maybe you can enter half the position. So now you have three quarters of the position full and then, fill in your other quarter along the lines somewhere else. That's something that you'll have to figure out, but I would just share in here that that's the higher low and that usually gets people bearish once again. And what happens is usually the opposite, a strong rally to the upside. So anyways, back to what's going on here. So I have an upper target you could see on the chart right here at 1670.09. So that is a upper target that I got from um, basically, this this down move in here gives me an upper target of that 1670 area. And that 1670 area, as you can tell, the market pulled right up to it. And if you watched my past, uh, my prior videos, my most recent, maybe it was the last two, I talked about some of these, um, some of these targets I'll put on the screen act as like, uh, floors of support and ceilings of resistance. Obviously, this one is a ceiling of resistance up in here. And when the price gets up to those levels, it bumps its head like you would if you were to jump and hit your head on the ceiling. You would hit your head on the ceiling and then you would get pushed back down. So price does similar things. And you can see, uh, did it quite nice on this chart. WFII slash USD and uh, just doing what it's supposed to do, pulling back. Will it will it pull back all the way down to these lower levels again? Well, it all depends on Bitcoin, obviously. Um, that would be quite the move to the downside, but it did it once. I I would personally suspect that if the markets are at their bottoms, it sure looks like the bottoms are in probably won't see this get back down to that 300 area for a while. Well, probably, and it's probably near where that is now, is you'll get some kind of pullback off the high, which we've seen, and then some kind of consolidation to print another higher low, and then it'll move move back to the upside. So you just like down in here, where you could try to buy that higher low, you could do something down in here. So we got that pullback we're seeing. And then you're looking for that higher low. So you have one, two, and then potentially number three higher low 
somewhere in here. Um, you can see the price has stopped from over in this area. This is old trading area. So perhaps it's trying to turn this area, which was re which was support and then turn into resistance back into support. And with this tight trading range here, it kind of looks like that may happen. But keep in concern, this is quite the blow off top here right at our target of 16709. Just some of my thoughts. You're playing with some big numbers here. You're playing with high volatility. That is for sure. Um, of course, none of this financial advice. Just reading the chart and uh, um, yeah. So high or low, put in a breakout higher high here, hit our target right around that 1670 area, which is about right here. Pulling back, the question is, where does it print the next higher low before it makes its move higher? A good way to keep an eye on that is keep an eye over on Bitcoin. What's going on with Bitcoin? If Bitcoin starts to do similar moves, put in that higher low, um, perhaps you could do some nibbling here and try to get into a more of a position, uh, either add on to your position from lower prices or establish a position. But with a with a project like this, with this crazy volatility, you need some pretty wide stops to be able to hold that position. But as you can tell, when it goes, when it breaks out past important areas, it moves quite quickly. So that is pretty much my thoughts on this. Um, for what it's worth, um, judging by how this thing can move, um, we do have a higher target of this right around $7,600, way, way up in here. And what that does is it gets us actually, it breaks us out past this high here. So lower high, lower low, came in, washed everybody out down here with another lower low. And that's the bottom coming here, higher high, higher low. Right there is your sign of heads up. This thing's moving to the upside. Huge break to the upside. Getting that pullback right now. And if you're looking to get into a position in this thing, my guess, and of course not financial advice, is somewhere in here we'll find support again. And we could, we could see a test all the way back down to this 6, 630 range. And that would definitely get people bearish once again and hit a lot of stops before moving back to the upside. And judging by the volatility of this, I wouldn't really be surprised to see that either. But take note that this whole range in here, basically from 1400 to you know the mid eights could be an area where this price tries to find support. And so far that's where it's stopped. Doesn't mean it's gonna stop there though. Probably more of a floor down in here in that six area. So that's it. That's pretty much my thoughts on this thing. I'm not in this thing. I don't know anything about it. Um, judging by the volatility, I probably wouldn't be in this market either way, but it is quite interesting um, how, how this thing is moving here. So keep your eye on this. Does it find support? In this area or does Bitcoin get smashed down a little bit lower and this project pulls back down to the sixes and then um, and then moves higher from there but keep in mind markets will put in a low sometimes they'll undercut a major low which we did here number three higher low breaking out that past that which now it should be a floor, which was a ceiling, and then getting that massive move back up into this high area of trading volume from prior times. All right, guys, that's my thoughts on this. Uh, WFII slash USD Coinbase. Looks like a Coinbase information here. We are on TradingView, and uh, let me know your thoughts down below. All right, take care.